This week we'll be focusing on the artist Vincent van Gogh and two of his paintings. Vincent van Gogh was a fascinating artist who became famous after he died. He was most famous for his paintings of Starry Night, The Bedroom, Irises, and The Sunflowers. Vincent van Gogh was born on March 30, 1853 in the Netherlands. He was named after his grandfather and his older brother who died before van Gogh was born, who was also named Vincent van Gogh. Before he started creating works of art, Van Gogh wanted to become a pastor in a church just like his father. Vincent had a number of jobs before he started painting, such as a teacher, he worked in a bookstore, and also in an art gallery. He didn't start painting until he was 27 and painting over 900 paintings in just 10 years until he died at the age of 37. Van Gogh was influenced by the Japanese art prints and woodcuts. You can tell in his cherry blossom trees. This week we'll be focusing two of his, his works of art, including Starry Night and the Sunflowers, to create your own inspired piece. All right, so before we begin creating our Van Gogh inspired art piece, we're gonna first take a look at the sunflower painting, which is here on the cover of my book. And you can pick one sunflower or two sunflowers. How many sunflowers you wanna create on your piece is up to you. Um, so think about texture. So Van Gogh was an impressionist artist, so a lot of his brush strokes had texture and globs of paint. Um, so then I'll look at this was the Starry Night. All right, here's Starry Night. So the Starry Night, we're going to kind of make an impression for the background for our sunflower. We're going to start with that first. And think of how like the galaxies and the swirls um, of colors that are in his piece and his how he used his brush strokes to create them. So first I'm gonna draw with pencil, kind of just like these some swirls in my background um, and how I want my colors and kind of my scheme, how to go if you wanna include a moon or stars in the background too, that's up to you. So let's close the book and let's begin. So for this project, I am going to use a piece of mixed media paper, like I think it's nine by 11. Um, I'm actually going to use a cardboard box for my sunflower. I'm going to use oil pastels for the background and also for the sunflower petals and also watercolor tempers. So you can hold your paper any direction you want to, vertical or horizontal. I'm going to stay vertical. And I just want to map out some directions of where my swirls are going to go. So kind of think like ocean waves. And I'm gonna put a moon right here. And then it has kind of like a star around it. So it's galaxies. So I'm going to use water or um, oil pastels first and then watercolors. And you can also use crowns, markers, paint, whatever you have at home, it is fine. So think about the background as cool colors um, and texture. So I'm gonna begin with my sun for my moon first. And I'm just gonna kind of create lines. Now if you have oil pastels at home and they get dirty like mine are, you can kind of just color on a scrap paper and clean them off. Think about using different colors as you're layering these up. All right, so I'm gonna continue and I will come back and show you how to do the sunflower.
gonna use is a cardboard box, yeah. granola bar box, whatever, to take it apart. And we're actually gonna use the inside. If you don't have one of these at home, um, another piece of paper is fine, whatever you have. Um, so I'm gonna trace a circle for my sunflower center. And then we're gonna make all the parts separately and then cut them out or color them and then cut them out. You can also make a template. Um, so circle tracer, I feel like I'm all mess here in my little studio. Um, circle tracer was simply a candle cut top lid. Um, you can find a cup, whatever you wanna use, you can use it as a stencil. Um, so I would say no bigger than maybe three inches from the top to the bottom or side to side. Okay, so here's my center of my sunflower. I am going to create a stem, and I'm gonna use the center here. Your stem can be straight. I'm gonna have a little curve on my stem. I actually have sunflowers planted in my garden right now. They actually came up from last year, so that's kind of fun. They're about a foot tall right now. And I'm gonna do some leaves, and petal leaves for my stem. And if you want to, you can actually draw one and then use it as a stencil. And I'm going to do that with the petals so that way you're all kind of the same. So I'm going to get my leaf. Those are my leaves. All right, so for my petals, um, at maybe, so you're going to think they're going to go around your sunflower circle. So maybe 10, 12, I mean, you can create a whole bunch. So I'm going to create my stencil over here. And the sunflower petal is kind of like a teardrop shape. And I'm gonna simply cut it out. And they can be different sizes too. Maybe you have smaller ones and some bigger ones. Because actually there are, in the inside, closer to the center of your sunflower, where all the sunflower seeds are, there's actually smaller petals. And from the outside, there's bigger ones. So I have my one stencil, so then you can simply kind of fit as many as you can on here. And kind of use your material wisely as much as you can. And you also need a pair of scissors and glue. So we're gonna attach all these on. If you don't have regular glue, you could probably use hot glue. Just make sure it's very careful um, if you use it or have someone at home help you. All right, I make a five, eight. So if you wanna color these in before you cut them out or color them after, that is up to you. I have like 10 petals. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use oil pastels to color these and I will be back to show you. So the center part, I'm gonna do like little dots. Um, my stem's gonna be a different color greens and sunflowers are usually yellows, oranges, browns. So whatever colors you may use, you can. So think of your sunflowers as warm colors and your background as cool colors.
All right, so I have cut out all of my pieces. I got my glue, and I also have my background. My background's still a little tacky, but it's okay. So the first thing you wanna do is figure out where you wanna put your sim. I'm gonna kinda of put mine off to the center a little bit. And then I'll add my two leaves. I'm gonna cut a little part off, but I'll just tuck it under. No one will know. Well, I guess you will if you watch the video. And then I'm gonna stick my center on. Now don't glue it like right next, right on top of your green. Give a little space so that way your petals can fit around your stem. I'm kind of loading up my glue on this one. Good amount. All right. And then, if you want to lay your petal, petals, your petals around your sunflower first to make sure you have enough, that might be a good idea. And I feel like I might be kind of short. Well, it looks like I need to make another petal, but I'm just gonna spread mine out a little bit. Oh no, it needs another petal. Hold on. Give me a second, fast forward. All right, so I got my last petal. Good thing I kind of measured. I could have made, it's another way to solve this problem, is I could have cut my center smaller. And that would allow me to fit all my petals around. my sunflower. So you can tuck yours underneath. I'm actually gonna tuck mine on top because I think that looks a little better. That's up to you, what you wanna do with your petals. And you can create other little petals and stick between them. I'll show you that in this one here. So if I had more time, I might create more petals, maybe little ones and then I'll have a double layer effect. That would be cool too, if you wanna do that. It's all up to you, you are the artist. So be creative, use the materials you have at home. If you wanna create this all out of cardboard, you can, just like your box, like your, um, your background you can, because that takes paint really good too. If you don't have craft paper at home, if you wanna make this all out of construction paper, you can if you have yellow construction paper, or if you want to tear up your background with a whole bunch of blues with construction paper. These don't kind of seem to stick. So if you have like a book at home, maybe laid on top so they lay flat and dry. Or another thing that will look really good is if I stick my paint pad on top to weigh it down. So here is my finished sunflower. Um, I can't wait to see what yours look like. Um, so if you have any questions, you can email me, but some, take a picture of your artwork and send it to ashuler at pathwayschool.org. All right, so our artist for the week was Vincent Van Gogh, and we created two pieces of his work that were inspired to create our piece, which was the sunflowers and also his starry night.